Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here, and welcome to tip number 65. In today's daily tip, we're gonna talk about property reference text layers. Now, if that sounds new to you, it's probably because it is. It's actually one of the latest features of After Effects, and it is super useful when you work with data files, things like JSON files, TSV, CSV. So in a weird way, it's gonna probably open us up to other subjects that we're gonna explore this week, things like JSON files and things of that nature. So without any further ado, let's dive right into our tip number 65. All right, so we are in After Effects, and for this example, as always, I have a very basic setup. I just have my background image, and this background image has some properties that we're gonna play with and explore. So let's talk about property reference text layers. Again, it's a very small feature, and the way it works is very simple. You can click and drag any of these properties. So let's go with rotation. I'm gonna click and drag and drop it into my composition like this. And when you do that, it creates a new text layer. And this text layer has two things, the name of the property and then the value of the property. So the name of it is obviously rotation and the value is 58. So if I click and drag on this, you can see it updates it in my composition as well. So it's great for referencing. Now, you if, if you noticed already, you can see that this text layer that we created automatically by default is actually a guide layer. And what that means, a guide layer is just a layer that will not be seen in the final render. So once I hit render, I won't see this. Now, if you do want to see this, all you have to do is just right click on this layer and then uncheck this guide layer, okay? Now let's keep going here. Let's talk about other properties. The same thing applies for checkbox. Right now it says one, but if it's off, it's zero. One dimensional, let's do with two dimensional, three dimensional, so it's all working. Now, pop-up is a bit interesting. Instead of actually giving you the value that's in there, it just kind of references the index value. So if I select the element number three in here, then it's just gonna say index three. So that's pretty simple. Now, the only property it doesn't support yet is this color property. So if I click and drag and drop, you can see it doesn't work. Now, I know what you're wondering by this point. You're like, that's great and all, but how is this useful? Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. Now, where it comes in very useful when you work with data files, things like JSON file, TSV, CSV, anything like that. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna go deep into each file format and things of that nature. I'll try to dive into that stuff later this week, but I just wanna show you how property reference works with data files. So I have this TSV file I'm gonna bring into my composition, and the way it's set up, the way I set this thing up, uh, I have all these properties in here. By default, After Effects, you know, when you write out code and stuff, it will, by default, kind of give you properties like these. So my first names are in here. However, I just see the index value. I don't see the actual string because I can't see string in here. Now, if I have numbers like age, right, I can see age in here. I can reference that. But I can't reference things that are string. And that's where property reference text layers come in very handy. And all you have to do, for example, I want to find out what this index four name is. I can just drag it in. You can see it says Evan. Number two would be Mike. Index six is Elijah. You know, we can try other things like last name. Let's go with last name number five. You can see it's Robbins and so on. All right, well, this is the end of this daily tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you wanna learn more about expressions, you should definitely go to ukramedia.com slash expressions. The link is at the bottom of this video. You'll also find links to our podcast, Ukram Media Podcast, and then also our free online community at ukramedia.com slash community. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.